please hit subscribe. This problem appears at the qualifying examinations for applicants for Japanese government on MEC scholarships 2019. There are two mathematics exams, one for social sciences mathematics A and another for natural sciences mathematics B. This problem is from the 2019 mathematics B questionnaire. The answer key and the original questions are linked in the description. Problem 4 of 1. When the line y equals m, x minus 5 plus 3 intersects the circle x squared plus y squared equals r squared, where r is a positive number, if and only if 0 is less than or equal to m is less than or equal to blank, then r equals blank. Let us recall the following. First, the point slope form of a line on the xy plane is given by this. Here we have a slope m, and this means that this line goes through the point x1, y1. Furthermore, if the angle that this line makes with the positive x axis is theta, then the slope is equal to the tangent. Of that angle theta. Furthermore, the perpendicular line, or rather the line perpendicular to this line, will have a slope of negative 1 over the slope of this line, that is negative 1 over m. Let us first draw the given. First we are told that there is this line, and if we rearrange the terms in this line, we can obtain this, which is the point-slope form of a line. This means that the slope of the line is m, and that this line goes through the point 5, 3. And so, we draw the point 5, 3 on the xy plane. We draw some lines. We notice that any line that goes through this point will have this equation. And so our m can be anything as long as it goes through 5, 3. However, the problem also tells us that the value of m is restricted. It could only be between 0 and some value capital M. Now, that means that some lines Will not be considered as satisfying this condition. The second condition is that there is a circle of this equation. This is the standard form of a circle with a center at the origin 0, 0 and a radius r. It is said in the problem that this line intersects this circle when the slope m is between 0 and capital M. That means that we are thinking or we are looking for lines that go through the circle like this. And we are not looking for lines that does not intersect the circle like these. And so we confine our attention to these lines. Normally, the line would intersect the circle at two different points. For example, this line intersects the circle at this point and this point. However, there are two special cases where the line intersects only at one point, and that is when the line intersects the circle at this point here. And at this point here, we do not know these points yet. However, we know that they intersect or the line intersects the circle at those points and those points only at only one point. That means the line is tangent to the circle at those points. We can also see that because zero is the minimum possible value of m, we cannot tilt this line any further. If we tilt 
if we tilt this line in this direction, the line would not intersect with the circle anymore. In the same way, if we tilt this line in this direction, it would not intersect the circle anymore. Therefore, the worst possible cases of lines intersecting the circle are the tangent lines. And therefore, the line that is tangent to the circle is this line with a slope 0 and this line with the slope capital M. Again, they are both tangent lines and they occur when the slope is minimum at 0 and when the slope is maximum at capital M. Now that we know that this line with slope 0 is a tangent line, we can say that this line is perpendicular to the radius of the circle at the point of tangency. And because the slope is 0, this line is horizontal. And therefore, the distance from the point of tangency to the center of the circle, which is the radius of the circle, this is equal to the distance from this point to the x-axis. And we are given that that distance is 3 because this point is 5, 3. Therefore, this radius here is also 3. And so that is our answer for the radius. Next, we need to find the value of capital M. There are two ways to do this. First, we set up simultaneous equations to solve for the point of intersection of this radius and this line, tangent line. And that point of intersection is this point. If we are able to solve for this point, we will be able to solve for M. However, this solution requires a tedious computation, and so we will avoid that solution. Here, we will use the geometry of the problem. First, we notice that capital M is the slope of this tangent line. However, this tangent line is perpendicular, of course, to the radius at this point. And that means that the slope of this radius is negative of 1 over the slope of this tangent line. There is also another way to find the slope of this radius, and that is in terms of the angle here. The slope of this radius is just the tangent of the angle here, and because this is below the positive x-axis, we will be using the negative of the tangent of the angle here. And so our problem is reduced to finding the tangent of the angle here. We can see that this angle here is somehow related to the other angles here. And that is important because if we look at this angle, if we call this theta, then we can get the tangent of that angle by dividing this by this term. And therefore, we can occupy our minds now to finding a relationship between this angle and this angle. First, we notice that we have two congruent triangles, here and here. They are congruent because they share a hypotenuse. They are both right angles, or rather right triangles, and they share, or rather they have the same length of one side. And so, by HL congruence, or rather hypotenuse side congruence, these two triangles are congruent. That means that this angle is also congruent to this angle. That means the angle, this angle, plus this angle is 2 theta. Furthermore, we know that this here makes 
a perpendicular or rather a right angle with this. And so the angle here can be obtained by subtracting this 90 degrees from 2 theta. And that's how we obtain 2 theta minus 90 degrees for this angle. Therefore, the slope of this radius equals the negative of the tangent of this angle, which is 2 theta minus 90 degrees. Now, we can equate these two expressions for the slope of the radius, this expression and this expression, and this is what we obtain. We can simplify this equation. First, we factor out the negative one so that we can flip the terms into this. Because there's a negative sign here, the negative one cancels that to give a positive sign. And now, this expression is the complement of 2 theta, which means that we can express this in terms of the co-function of tangent. The co-function of tangent is cotangent. And because 2 theta is the complement of this, we can use cotangent of 2 theta. Now, we also know that cotangent is the reciprocal of the tangent function. And so we can also express this like this. Now, we can say that this expression equals this expression. And therefore, this expression equals this. Now, we just have to find the tangent of 2 theta, which is related to the tangent of theta. This is not very hard because we can see from the drawing that we can actually get the tangent of theta from this given. Notice that this is a right triangle and therefore the tangent of this angle theta is just this length which is 5 over this length which is 3. Furthermore, we know from the identities that the tangent of 2 theta equals the 2 times the tangent of theta over 1 minus the square of the tangent of theta. And we can now substitute the values of tangent theta in this equation. And this is what we obtain. We simplify this using several algebraic steps, and eventually, we obtain m to be this value. If you learned something new today, please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. See ya!